All right, this is example two for section 8.3 using recursion. Um, we are going to re write a recursive method named make Starbucks, which receives a non-negative integer n and returns a string consisting of n asterisks followed by n dollar signs. So uh, we can see some example outputs here. Make Starbucks of five should return the uh, five asterisks and five dollar signs and make Starbucks of three should return three asterisks and three dollar signs. Okay. So first of all, we're going to think about our, our return type um, and we'll think about our header. So we're going to do public static. Uh, we're going to return a string this time. String and the name of our function is make Starbucks. And our parameter is going to be an integer, integer n. OK. Now I made it static. This example and our last example, we made static because it doesn't seem that I would need any instance data. This doesn't really need to be part of a class. So we'd want to just call this as like a tool. Um, as a this method is kind of like a tool we'd use it to make this little design but it doesn't really need an instance of an object so that's why I'm making them static all right first of all our base case um, we know we're gonna get non-negative integers as our parameters so we should be able to um, assume that the lowest thing we're gonna get is one and then other than that we're gonna get some positive value so um, what would a the base case be if I, you know the smallest thing that this program should do would be uh, make Starbucks of one and that would return uh, just one asterisk and one dollar sign and I think that's gonna be our base case so let's do our base case first and the base case would be uh, you know, if n equals equals 1, so if the parameter, the input, is equal to 1, I would return the string a star and then a dollar sign. Okay? So that's pretty simple. Now, what I would do is I kind of think of this as see I can see the base case right here and I see the base case right here in the center of make Starbucks 5 now each time I add a number I would add one star and one dollar sign and then if I when I go to three for my int I would add the star and the dollar sign on the outside of those so my recursive case would be something like else, right? If n's not one, if it's bigger than one, two, three, four, something like that, I would return the star or the asterisk, and then I would add make Starbucks of a smaller subset. So I'm going to take n minus one so that my recursive case gets me one step closer to one. If I was getting five, I wanna get one step closer to one, which is four, then three, then two, then one, okay? And then I need to add on the dollar sign at the end. Add some semicolons down here at the end of these statements and a closing curly brace. Okay, so that is make Starbucks uh, example two. Um, 